everybody, it's Angie. I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul. I have tons of goodies that I purchased today. I haven't needed to go for a while, so I had to pick up some staples and some things that we needed. And just a little funny story, when I was there, the workers asked where the little one was because that's one of our favorite places to go. So I thought that was really nice. And we live in a small town, so that just kind of showed that they care and that they pay attention to their customers. So with that, let's get into it. So the first thing that I got are these yard sticks. So um, the first one that I got is says danger and it has a sparkly little ghost on it. Um, and the ghost is actually uh, glow in the dark. So that I thought was really awesome. Um, and then I got this next one that says haunted. So for haunted house for Halloween. Um, both of these, of course, were dollar because they're, they're at the Dollar Tree. But I thought that they were really cute. They have some glitter on them. And they'll go really cute in our front yard. <laughs> Please don't mind the crinkling. Everything is still in its bag. So next items I got are these essential vacuum storage bags so um we've been getting a lot of great clothes from family um whose kids have outgrown their clothes so um they've given them to us which is awesome thanks very much but um some of them are a little large for the little ones so i got these storage bags they're actually vacuum bags so you basically put your products in there your your stuff um can you tell i work in retail <laughs> you put your stuff in there and you seal it up and then you um, vacuum it in order to get all the air out. And then um, it's supposed to flatten your items down from this to about that. So I got two of these so that we can save her clothes for um, when she gets older and then they'll still be good. I got um, next thing, super boring. It's just a plastic container. I got this for the little one for her Legos. Um, she got a lot of Legos for her birthday, so I um, thought this would be good to keep them in so she doesn't have to keep putting them in the boxes every time. She can just take this out and have all of her Legos available. Um, yeah. And the next thing I got are these kids' toothbrushes. These are super cute. Look at their, like, little, they have little faces and little feet on them. I got a three count. Um, they are the kids' soft size. So you can never have enough toothbrushes. And she kind of goes through a lot of them because... She's at that stage where she like bites on them and then the bristles become all wonky and separated. So um, three for a dollar isn't bad. I thought these ones were cute. We've never purchased these ones before, but when she sees them, she's going to definitely get a kick out of them because they're really adorable. And then I also got these two. I have another one somewhere. Here it is. These two glass containers. These are really great. They're glass with a plastic lid on them that screws on it. And I'm going to use these to make scented bath salts for the bath. Not the bath salts that the crazy people are eating, you know, where they eat other people. Not those kind, um, but the bath salts for the bath. So they're a pretty good size. And I thought they'd be great. So I got two so I can make two different um, scents. And we will keep those in the cupboard in the bathroom. But I'm not paying more than a dollar for those. So perfect place to get it. Then I got this car air freshener. It is in the scent vanilla. You got three packs, which I think is a great deal because if you buy these at like Target, Walmart, or your local tire and auto place, I mean, you're going to pay a lot more for these. So I'll give them a try. They were $3. Um, a little one spilled some hot chocolate in my car. So it kind of smells a little like hot chocolate and milk. No matter how much I clean it, I have to get it detailed, but I just haven't gotten around to it. <laughs> so... And then the next thing I got is this super fun isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> and so I got this because I am actually going to start making my own soaps um, for my family and friends. And this is a staple for making homemade soap. So I figured the dollar store is a great place to pick it up. I hope it's okay because this one's only 50%. Um, normally I think you're going to want 90 to 100 but I'll check it out. If it doesn't work, I'll go and get some more. And then I got these good and clean disinfectant wipes. They are supposed to kill the cold and flu virus. And I got the ones that were 25% more wipes. So I got 30 wipes for a dollar. I thought that was a really good deal because we had to buy some for 
um, kindergarten class and they were about a dollar ninety nine to about three ninety nine depending on the brand so we're gonna give these a shot and if these work then we'll just start um, buying these from now so I uh, got these ones and the next item that I got is this baking soda so super exciting but um, these, this is going to go into the bath salts um, that I make for the tub. And then I'm also going to start doing bath bombs as well. Those are so fun. And um, we take a lot of baths in the house. The little one, of course, takes two to three a week, you know, to stay clean from running around and all of that. And I just thought that these would be really good. Um, they were 59 cents, so they're actually less than a dollar. So I picked up two. And I got also this Diamond Super Dry Crick quick dry rapid um rapid second so apparently it's supposed to dry your polish to a high glass shine in less than 60 seconds according to the directions so i thought i gave it a try it was a dollar i love painting my nails clearly i haven't done it today but um i don't know about you but they always get messed up after i do it so i hope that this will help not mess it up so i didn't try it it's a dollar now this is my favorite so far so <laughs> the little one's closet is kind of dark so I got this LED animal push light so um, I don't know if you can see the picture here but you're supposed to put it in the closet and it's supposed to light it up it's supposed to be kind of like one of those like tap on lights so I'm really hoping that it works it just takes a couple batteries and it's cute um, and not as bulky as the other tap lights so um we're going to try this out tonight and see how it works, and I can let you know if you are interested. Um, but yeah, just thought that would be really fun for her room. And then I also had to get some candy. So I put a candy dish out at my desk at work, and it goes like crazy. Like, everybody walks by my desk and takes the candy, so my candy dish is empty. So I got some lemon heads, apple heads, and cherry head. It's a variety pack, which I love those. And then these I love as well. These are the butterscotch flavored hard candies. I also love the cinnamon ones, which they also had, but I'm not going to go crazy. If people want this candy gif to be um, constantly refilled, they're going to have to start pitching in. And I only have a couple more things. I did pretty good this time. So... I got these mini horses. There's 10 pieces in them. And they're just these little guys. And the these are going to be for the bath bombs that I'm going to be making. So I'm going to um, be putting a horse, a surprise horse, in the bath bomb. Um, and then when it's done in the tub, then the horse arrives. So, um, yeah, I just thought that these would be fun. And it would be a fun little surprise to get um, when, you know, the nieces and nephews and the little one all take their baths. And they would get a little, little special treat in with their bath bomb. And second to last item, I'm actually really excited about this. So this is a front door cover and it actually lights up. So it's a bat and graveyard scene and it's supposed to go on your front door and the bat eyes light up. So I was actually really surprised that this was a dollar. I hope that it works. Um, you can't really see it, but um, apparently the directions are you just stick it um, on the on the door and you can turn it on and off so i'm um, really excited about this for halloween i know i'm really early with this and those but um i couldn't pass it up and you just never know if stuff is going to be there so just wanted to get a couple things and not go too crazy with the halloween stuff just yet and my final item is this refrigerator magnet. So I thought these were really cute. They are little like magnets that you can decorate either your refrigerator, your file cabinets. It says metal doors and lockers. So um, they're just these little guys. I've seen these before at the dollar store for like birthdays. Um, but I thought that these would be really fun to put on the refrigerator downstairs and kind of just make it a little more festive for Halloween. Um, and these aren't too scary. They're not going to scare the little ones or the nieces and nephews. And um, it'll just be more of like a fun, whimsical sort of a Halloween type thing. I don't... I love Halloween. It's really weird. I really love it. It's my, one of my favorite ho holidays. But I don't like to be jumped out at. I don't like to be scared. I mean, scary movies I'm fine with. But some of the stuff at Halloween scares me. Like, I will not 
go into a Halloween store. That just too much, too much for me. Can't do it. So these will be just fine. They're more my style, more my speed, which is about probably a little good when it comes to scary stuff. So overall, pretty good haul, I believe, or according to me, I think. Um, got some stuff that we will be using at the house. And got some stuff for um, bath bombs that I want to be doing. I love these containers. It took me a while to find them. They were hidden in the back of a drawer, or not a drawer, but a, um, a shelf. So I was really excited to find those. That I'm excited about. Not too scary, not too wimpy. And yeah, I'm excited to see how these work too. Um, because I bought, I bought some on Holler, but they were 4 to $5. So I'm kind of kicking myself in the and the behind because if those work then I should have just gotten them at the dollar store but I didn't know they had them so my fault you live and learn so that is all for my haul this evening I hope you enjoyed and um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you all during the next video and I hope everybody has a great day we're on the home stretch it's thursday i remembered what day it was today and i hope everybody has a great weekend great going into the holiday weekend and stay safe and have fun with family and friends or with whatever you're doing and please subscribe and i will see you all next time talk to you later bye